Hi, this is TJ Miller from Action Reality Martial Arts. Uh, today in this video, we're going to go over a footwork drill to help you make your footwork and your movement in a fight be a lot more natural. Uh, this is one of the first things I teach my students, and I cannot emphasize enough how fundamentally important this is to you as a fighter. Uh, you want to be able to control the range in a fight. Uh, if someone's a really good kicker, and you can always avoid being in kicking range when you're not throwing a kick, they start missing you, it'll really help up your defense. You want your footwork to be really natural, all right? Just like when I get done with talking to you here and I walk over to turn off the camera, I don't have to think about the walking. I don't have to think about put this foot in front of this one, put this foot in front of this one, all right? I just move. And you want to move that same way in a fight. You want your footwork to be that natural, all right? Also, as you're watching this, remember what we're talking about is the footwork. So empty your cup, all right? There might be times when I'm talking that my hands come down because I'm describing something. Don't get hung up on that, all right? Yes, there are a lot of things that are important in a fight. Keeping your hands up in your defense is super important. Using proper body mechanics while you're throwing a punch, super important. But right now, like I said, empty your cup and look at the footwork. Look how it works. Try to really critically analyze what you do. Watch. As I watch this video later, I'm going to look at stuff. I'm going to see stuff that I don't like that I'm doing. But that's what it is about being a good fighter. As Bruce Lee said, it's about daily decrease, not daily increase. It's not adding stuff. It's cutting away those inessentials. And you got to learn to have a critical eye and look back at yourself and see what you don't do right. All right? Just like I'm sure I'm going to see things when I watch myself in this video that aren't great. But look for the truth in there that you can use for yourself. If you've never done this footwork stuff, it'll really enhance your game as a fighter if you really practice it and you get to where your footwork and movement's natural. Uh, if you look at any of the, a lot of the classic Jeet Kune Do books by Larry Hartzell, Tim Tackett, this starts their books. This, you know, the first chapter is all about footwork, and it is fundamentally important. Uh, especially with Jeet Do, you want to control the range, all right? You want to be able to get in, attack your partner, and then get away before they counterattack. Keep them out of range so that you start being able to intercept them as they come in, okay? If you try to intercept a punch from your partner's punching range, you're probably going to get punched in the face because there's always going to be a faster guy, all right? But when you start making them attack, from out of distance, that's when this stuff's gonna start working. All right, so really practice this footwork stuff. It's gonna help enhance everything else you do as a fighter. All right, so take a look at this stuff, see what you think, and happy training. All right, this is our first movement. This is movement number one. This is a step and slide movement, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna be advancing. So I'm gonna move forward, I'm gonna push off my back foot, my feet expand, and then they contract. Remember, it's real important to reestablish your fighting stance after you do any kind of movement. So a couple times, number one is gonna look like this. All right, pushing off the back foot, moving the front foot forward, coming closer to my opponent. Looking at it from the front. Okay. If you want to, as you get better with these, start adding an attack. Simple at first, you can do a jab. All right, so that's move number one, step and slide. Move number two is also a step and slide. This is a retreat. So we're gonna back up. And this is number two. I'm gonna push off the front foot now and move away from my opponent. This way, my back foot moves. And again, after I move, I get right back to my comfortable fighting stance. You want to get in the habit of doing everything from that fighting stance. So again, here's move number two. So step and slide back. And again, you can add the jab to it if you want when you're moving, or other attacks too as you get more advanced. Move number three, we're going to move to the left. All right. So my left foot is going to move first. And it doesn't matter which foot's in the front or the back. It's going to be my left first. Because again, I'm going to expand and then contract. So I step to the left, push off the right. Okay? Move into the left side. Just like that. Alright? From the side. If my right foot's in front, I'm still going to move my left foot first. Right? So we're pushing away from the direction we're moving. Move number four is the opposite of move number three. We're moving to the right. So I'm going to move my right foot first. 
Again, always reestablishing that fighting stance whenever we go. It's also something you can notice here is you notice there's a line between my feet. My feet are staying pretty much shoulder width apart when I'm in my fighting stance. So here's move number four. All right, and again, it doesn't matter which foot's in front, my right foot is gonna move first. All right, so from a right lead, I step this way. From a left lead, I step this way. Movement number five is a pivot. So I'm gonna keep my uh, lead foot in the same spot, and my back foot is gonna circle around I'm gonna keep the same lead as I turn. Number five, I'm gonna to pivot to the left. All right? And as I turn, I basically am just readjusting my rear leg to fix my fighting stance. Okay, if you got a room, right now I'm facing the camera. As I do my turn, I'm gonna face the next wall this way. Okay? And then if I turn again, I'll be facing the back wall. So I'll do a couple of them in order. From here, turn this way, now I'm facing this side wall. Turn again, facing this side wall. Uh, one way you can think about that, imagine there's a, a spike through your foot, or you're standing on a lazy Susan or something, or a little turntable. So this foot, if you notice, really isn't moving. Okay? And it's staying in the lead. And just like with my one, two, three, and four, whenever I'm done moving, I'm back in my fighting stance. So on five, I turn, and then my fighting stance is back to be my good fighting stance. Number six is going to be a pivot to the, to the right. So I still keep the front leg in front. It's going to stay in the front after I turn two. So six, I pivot to the right, right back to my fighting stance. And it's the same, no matter which foot's in front, my right foot's in front now. So this is going to continue to be my lead foot. So five and six. And you can do that with your punches as well.